Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Bear Views back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at is Island Coastal Lager. Um, never had heard about this beer before. Um, made for easy drinking. Um, they do have a website. IslandCoastalLager.com Um which the website is actually set up pretty nicely, but it looks like that this is the only beer that they make. Uh, I don't know if this is a brand new company. Um, let's see. My guess is that this is a new brewery. Uh, the website looks new. Um, when you click on beer, it says try the better beer and it just pulls up the island coastal lager that is the only beer they have listed um, very nice website design though maybe they'll start coming up with some new brews um, this is 4.5 percent alcohol by volume IBUs are not disclosed um, let's see 4.5% alcohol. It's an American craft lager. The hop variety is Pearl. The malt varieties are Vienna, Carapils, and Pilsner malt. So, East Island Brewing Company, Charleston, South Carolina. So, don't know if any of you guys out there have ever heard of them, but this is the only beer that they make, apparently, or at least according to their website. They don't have anything else listed. So, let's get into it. I'm thinking this is going to be kind of like a land shark, Corona, just your typical session lager, adjunct lager. Although, I don't know if this is an adjunct lager or not. It doesn't say all malt or anything like that. It probably has a corn adjunct. It says the ICL, the Island Craft Lo uh, Coastal Lager, was created as a craft alternative to those mass market brands. Only the finest ingredients are used to brew this coastal style lager. So an alternative to mass produced. So this is an alternative to Corona, an alternative to... Um, you know, Modelo, Especial, those types of beers. says so, so right on the label. So anyway, I gave it a pour. Um, didn't really pour with much of a head. Uh, no bubbles going up the glass. Uh, kind of a yellowish-orange appearance. So it doesn't necessarily look like um, a Corona or a Modelo Especial or Land Shark. Looks kind of... Uh, not dull, but um, like it's lost its carbonation. It doesn't really look carbonated. <clears throat> anyway, let's get an aroma. It does smell good. You're picking up on some uh, some nice bready notes, uh, bready notes, some lightly roasted barley malt. Picking up on like a grassy herbal thing that you get with really good European lagers. Um, there's almost like a cracker um, note in here, like a saltine cracker note. <sighs> Sorry, my nose is a little <sighs> stuffed up today, but I can still smell very well. It just it sounds funny when I take an inhalation, so just bear with me. <laughs> it does smell really good. I uh, might be picking up a little bit on those pearl hops, uh, but there's really not too much of a hop aroma going on. It's kind of like a nice bready presentation on the aroma, that crackery, saltine crackery smell. Maybe a little biscuitiness as well. It smells really good, guys, so let's go ahead and get into it. Cheers.
it has a hmm. It says hash, hashtag find your island on the bottom. Well, that doesn't help me with the date. This doesn't taste the freshest. It's lacking carbonation. It kind of looks a little old. I don't know how fresh this beer is. Heck, maybe they don't even make this beer anymore. Maybe that's why the website only has it listed on there. Maybe they went out of business. I don't know. And they're just trying to get rid of backstock. Uh, if anybody out there knows about this brand, this beer, uh, please drop a comment below and l let me know because I can't really find out any information on it, on the company, uh, on the brewery. This seems to be the only beer that they make or uh, maybe they don't make it anymore. I don't know. This beer doesn't taste super fresh. Uh, the aroma smells, it smells a lot better than it tastes, honestly. There is a little bit of that herbal grassy note, but the malt flavor it just tastes a little musty almost. It does have a nice bready note in the middle of the sip. The finish is kind of messy. It's like a wet finish. I think the hops are faded. I'm not really picking up on the hops. It's it's like a malty beer, but it's like, I don't know, if you've ever had an old beer um, that did have hops in it, but they're clearly faded, and then you're left with this weird, like, malt flavor, and, like, the hops still have flavor, but they're not bitter anymore. They're not, you can, they just, it's like a old hop flavor, almost, It's what I'm getting. Um, not the best, guys. It's not bad. It's definitely not a drain pour, but I think this beer is outdated, but I won't know because there's no, there's no lot code. There's no nothing. The only thing it says on the bottom is hashtag find your island, and then it has 2422, comma, 2423, comma, 2424, comma. That doesn't do jack for me. Uh, there is no date. What? There is no date on here. Um, not the best. It's not bad, but it's not good. Uh, if it was fresh, I think it would be better. I don't think it's fresh, but I can't say for sure because there's no date. Anyway, I blabbed on enough. Old tasting, kind of musty, uh, other than the nice little bready notes and that grassy thing that I'm getting, kind of like with a good Euro lager, that type flavor. Uh, that's about. Those are about the only good qualities that it has. Uh, it's. It just doesn't taste super fresh and uh, whatever hops they're using I'm not picking up on in the taste at all um, so this is barely passable really um, this is a 70 out of 100 a C minus I don't recommend this beer I think unless you can get it fresh I don't know I, I don't think this is fresh but like I said it could be fresh it could just be bad um, I've had much better guys. An Island Lager. Go with Landshark. Go with Corona. Go with Modelo Especial. Um, go with Estrella, Estrella Jalisco. Um, any of those beers are much better than this. This one is lacking all kinds of qualities, including carbonation, um, hop presence. The barley malt flavor is just kind of musty. Um, so, not the best, guys. 70 out of 100 for the Island Coastal Lager. Um, so that'll do it, guys, for this beer review. Hope you're all having a great day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.